and we are calling it iPhone. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone, and here it is. <laughs> so what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. Oh, a stylus, right? We're going to use a stylus. No. <laughs> no. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. So let's not use a stylus. We're going to use the best pointing device in the world. We're going to use a pointing device that we're all born with. We're born with 10 of them. We're going to use our fingers. We're going to touch this with our fingers. And we have invented a new technology called multi-touch, which is phenomenal. It works like magic. <laughs> you don't need a stylus. It's far more accurate than any touch display that's ever been shipped. It ignores unintended touches. It's super smart. You can do multi-finger gestures on it. And boy, have we patented it. <laughs> so, And today, we're introducing the iPhone 3G. This is what it looks like. It's even thinner at the edges. It's really beautiful. It's got a full plastic back. It's really nice. We've taken an iPhone 3G, and on the same phone, in the same location, downloaded a website on Edge, and downloaded the same website using 3G, and we've captured the videos. So let's see how we do. We're off to the races here. It's a website with a lot of images on it, complex layout. 21 seconds on 3G. All right, 59 seconds on edge. Now, one other thing that benefits from fast data, of course, is GPS. And we've built that into the new iPhone 3G as well. Here we are driving down Lombard Street, and we can actually track as we move using GPS. You get the idea. An entirely new version, the iPhone 3GS. Now the S simply stands for, it stands for speed, because this is the most powerful, fastest iPhone we've ever made. Something as simple as launching a messaging application, 2.1 times faster. Loading a game like SimCity, 2.4 times faster. Viewing attachments and emails like an Excel attachment, 3.6 times faster going to a graphically intense JavaScript website like the New York Times, 2.9 times faster. There's a brand new three megapixel autofocus camera. In addition to autofocus, we've got a great feature called tap to focus. So if I'm composing my photo, for example, in this case, I want a photo, photo that focuses on the house, I just tap the house and it's in focus, and we balance the exposure for that. If I want to take a picture of the, photo, the flower, I just tap it, and now it's in focus, and the, and the photo's balanced as well. But the best thing about this camera is it also captures video. Go into the camera application, and there you'll see a new switch on the bottom right hand that says still or movie. And you flick to what you want to take, press the button, and now rather than capture, it's record, and it's recording video. 30 frame a second VGA with audio right on your iPhone. Today, we're introducing iPhone 4. We have an all new design the thinnest smartphone ever. It uses stainless steel for strength. It uses glass on the front and the back for optical quality and scratch resistance. It's got integrated antennas and extraordinary build quality. Again, I don't think there's another consumer product like this. The Retina display. Three and a half inches, the same size as the iPhone 3GS, yet with 960 by 640 pixels, that's four times more pixels than the iPhone, G iPhone 3GS. 326 pixels per inch, an 800 to one contrast ratio, which is again, four times better than the 3GS. We're using IPS technology. This is a very advanced LCD technology, which is quite a bit, in our opinion, quite a bit better than the OLED technology for these types of products. Well, I'm really pleased to tell you today all about the brand new iPhone 4S. First, it starts with a new sensor, an eight megapixel sensor. This lets you take photos 
that are 3264 by 2448. That means you can print out an 8 by 10 glossy photo that's pixel perfect. It's gorgeous. That's 60% more pixels than were in the iPhone 4's camera sensor. And for the first time, it is now 1080p HD video. Just the resolution you want. <laughs> Siri is your intelligent assistant that helps you get things done just by asking. So let's go ahead and ask Siri about the weather. What is the weather like today? Here's the forecast for today. It is that easy. Today, we're going to introduce iPhone 5. The new iPhone 5 is just 7.6 millimeters thin. That's 18% thinner than the iPhone 4S. And best of all, it's the world's thinnest smartphone. It also weighs just 112 grams. That's 20% lighter, one-fifth lighter than the iPhone 4S. But perhaps the most amazing feature of the new camera in iPhone 5 is called Panorama. And this is incredible. So a lot's changed, and it's time for the connector to evolve. And that's just what we've done. Our new connector is called Lightning. This is iPhone 5S. It is made of a high-grade aluminum with diamond-cut chamfered edges, a new camera system. We have a new five-element Apple-designed lens that has a larger f2.2 aperture, lets more light onto the sensor. We have a new sensor as well that has a 15% larger active area, and it doesn't stop with that. It has a new flash as well. We call it the True Tone Flash. It actually has two LEDs, one a cooler white one and another a warmer amber one. And in real time, it analyzes the scene and can present a color flash of over a thousand color variations to give exactly the right color flash for the room or, or situation you're in. This is the first time it has ever been done, not just on a phone, but a camera of any kind. For the first time, the iPhone auto image stabilization, burst mode. When you go to take your picture, if you hold down on the shutter button, it'll burst a bunch of photos. It can actually take 10 frames a second. In real time, as you took those photos, it analyzed them for a number of variables. It checks on exposure, sharpness, whether there are faces in the scene, whether they're smiling, whether they're blinking. And when you go into the camera roll, it presents what it thinks might be your favorite shot out of all the shots. These are the new iPhones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. They are without a doubt the best iPhones we've ever done. From the glass front that curves around the side to meet seamlessly with the anodized aluminum back, complete with stainless steel Apple, it is truly the most beautiful phone you have ever seen. And from the start, the team has envisioned that the new iPhone 6 would come with two display sizes. But not any display would do. These are our new generation retina displays. We call them Retina HD. And they are by far the most beautiful displays ever built into a phone. We've also added a brand new gesture specifically for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's called reachability. What's reachability? Well, if you double touch, not even press, just double touch the Touch ID button, this is what happens. The whole display slides down so you can reach anything at the top without having to take your hand off the bottom of the display. It's so convenient and intuitive. Introducing the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled to give you this first look at 3D Touch live in action. So we'll watch what happens. I can get to them right here directly from my home screen. Or maybe I want to listen to music like Beats One or a song from my favorite band. Well, I can do that right here. And sometimes you need to take that emergency selfie and you want to get directly to the selfie camera. Well, now you can. But what if we could do something more? Teams come up with something truly brilliant. What if you could press with 3D touch on your photos and this happened? This is entirely new technology. It's called Live Photos. 
It's the best iPhone that we have ever created. This is iPhone 7. The new enclosure in iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus are water and dust resistant. It is IP67 protection standard. What does this mean for all of us? Well, even the least coordinated among of us don't have to worry in case some unusual mishap happens that your iPhone will be safe from water or dust. And this is what we're doing on iPhone 7 Plus. It's plus a second camera. There's now two 12 megapixel cameras built in the iPhone 7 Plus. One has the wide angle, 28 millimeter lens, the same as the iPhone 7. The other is a telephoto, 56 millimeter lens. Earpods. Apple earpods are the most popular headphones in the world. And with iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, we're moving to connecting them over lightning. iPhone 8, this is a huge step forward for iPhones. Right when you're in the camera app, you use portrait mode, and there's a new menu to select the lighting effect you want to use. You just swipe to pick a different effect for whatever you want to shoot. Now these aren't filters. This is real-time analysis of the light on your subject's face. In fact, you can go in later, after you shot a portrait mode photo, into the Photos app and change the lighting effect to select which one you want to use on your photograph. And now with iPhone 8, with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. We do have one more thing. This is iPhone 10. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. The display fits edge to edge, top to bottom. It goes into each corner where it follows the tight curve of the design. So now, when you want to go to the home screen, you simply swipe up from the bottom and you go home. Now the same fluid gesture also works for multitasking. So if you're in an app and you want to multitask, you just swipe up from the bottom, you pause for a split second, and you're in multitasking. With iPhone 10, your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. Nothing has ever been simpler, more natural, and effortless. We call this Face ID. This is iPhone XS. It is the most advanced iPhone we've ever created. And they're protected from dust and liquids to an even higher level now, IP68. Well, the iPhone XS is not just one, but two sizes of display. The 5.8 inch and a new 6.5 inch Super Retina display. So what do you call a phone that's bigger than plus size? Well, we call it the iPhone XS Max. So when you take the picture with portrait mode, and then you go into the Photos app, and you tap Edit, you're going to see a new slider on the bottom. It says Depth. Right? Yeah, someone said no. Get ready for this. <laughs> because, and then let me blow it up. You're going to have to watch two things at once. You're going to watch the depth, and you're going to watch the background. You can, after taking the picture, adjust the depth of field from f1.4 to f16. This is the iPhone 11 Pro, and these are the most powerful and most advanced iPhones that we have ever built in a stunning new design. This is the most advanced and detailed iPhone we've made yet. It's made of a surgical grade stainless steel. That back is a single piece of machine glass with an optical PVD coating. It has a beautiful new matte textured finish that looks great and feels awesome in your hand. It has a new wide camera that has a fast f1.8 aperture and focus pixels that cover 100% of the sensor. It is a new telephoto camera with a larger f2.0 aperture. It lets in 40% more light. And has a new ultra-wide camera with a super-wide 120-degree field of view and a tremendous range of focus across the entire image. This is iPhone 12 Pro. The Pro design is complemented beautifully with our new MagSafe accessories, which provide easy and secure attachment and high power charging. Many pros love to capture in RAW, but they're missing the benefit of our sophisticated image fusion. So we'd like to show you a sneak peek of a new feature that combines the control of shooting in RAW with the power of our computational photography. And that's Apple Pro RAW. This year, we're taking pro video further, much further. 
For the first time, we're bringing HDR video recording to iPhone. You can now record in 10-bit high dynamic range. A LiDAR scanner. LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging, and it measures how long it takes light to reach an object and reflect back. We've adopted this technology for iPhone, and with the machine learning and depth frameworks of iOS 14, iPhone understands the world around you and builds a precise depth map of the scene. It enables object and room scanning, photo and video effects, and precise placement of AR objects. iPhone 13 Pro features our most pro design. iPhone 13 Pro has a newly designed front with a true depth camera system that's 20% smaller. iPhone 13 Pro also supports MagSafe and the ever-expanding ecosystem of really cool new accessories. Super Retina XDR display. With a new, more efficient OLED panel, the display now supports up to 1,000 nits peak outdoor brightness. That's 25% higher than last year. And for the first time, we're bringing ProMotion to iPhone. With our latest technology, this ProMotion display can refresh from as low as 10 hertz to as high as 120 hertz. Macro photography. Macro photography typically uses a special lens that can focus at close distances. The new ultra-wide lens design and autofocus system enable incredibly sharp focus and can magnify subjects with a minimum distance of two centimeters. So you can get detailed close-ups, like of this beautiful red daisy, the cells in this leaf, or the water droplets on this mushroom. iPhone 14 Pro introduces a new front design that is sure to become iconic. It starts with the new TrueDepth camera. We redesigned all components to fit into a smaller size using 30% less area. We're calling it the Dynamic Island. So now, when you receive an alert, the Dynamic Island expands to notify you. Our ambition is to clearly convey the information and present content and controls without distracting from the app you're in. The new lock screen in iOS 16 introduces more personalization with widgets and live activities. So this is the perfect time to introduce Always On Display. iPhone 15 Pro is packed with industry-first innovations and features our users are going to love. And we are thrilled to introduce our astonishing new titanium design. This is the most premium material we've ever used in an iPhone enclosure. From the very first iPhone, we've had the ring silent switch a quick and easy way to mute iPhone sounds. We wanted to make this even better. So with iPhone 15 Pro, we are reinventing the experience with a customizable action button. By default, it's still a simple ring silent switch. To toggle between ring and silent, you simply press and hold the button to confirm your intent. You also feel a distinctive haptic feedback for each state and you can choose from a set of actions and easily switch between them. For example, with a simple press, you can start voice memos to quickly record a new idea or launch camera to capture that important moment, activate a favorite accessibility feature like live speech, or you can use shortcuts to open up an even wider set of options from simply launching your favorite app to running your own custom shortcuts.